Hey guys, this is Torn, and today I wanted to talk about variants in Marvel Strike Force. We guys, we know that variants are kind of a thing that are here to say. Every patch we seem to be getting more of them, or at least, you know, different variations of characters that we've already got. So, like, for example, the current patch, we got Gwen, uh, Gwenum and we got Void Knight. Both variations of characters that already existed in the game. This is very interesting as well, because when we initially started Marvel Strike Force, we only had you know, one of each version of character. Uh, eventually we did get, um, symbiote spider-man he was probably the first kind of official variant and then slowly we kind of started branching out more event like it took a little bit for them to kind of start doing it for a while however we were getting kind of variants but they were like costumes which i thought was a lot better and i thought it was a lot more of an interesting idea say for example you know emma frost where um we got the, the Dawn of X costume where it's like the modern day kind of version of it. So it's kind of a weird line for them to draw. Like how much of a variation does a character need to be before it goes from just being a costume to becoming a full new character? Uh, one example that's kind of going on at the moment is this Doctor Strange. Um, Doctor Strange Heartless was probably the first kind of official variant where he was going to be a costume and then kind of got branched out. However, one thing that we've got sitting here is this Doctor Strange costume that has not been released or anything. We don't know entirely what's going to be happening with this. Will this costume become a new variant of you know, Doctor Strange, or is this going to still be the Doctor Strange that we've got, just, you know, a costume for him, or what? what's exactly going on? If you have a look at, like, you know, the character, there is a few differences in here that could suggest that this is going to be ending up becoming a variant instead, which would be very interesting. Um, I'm hoping not. I kind of, you know, I like costumes. I, I will say that. And, you know, as people come to the channel and they're like, Torna, why do you like costumes? Or why are you complaining about costumes or anything like that? That's because I like customization. I love customization. It's something that Marvel Strike Force doesn't really have. If you even look down to like the ISO system that they originally said was going to be about customization, that's not customization. But I prefer visual customization. I'm one of those people that will sit in the character a creation uh, screen for a while, kind of making my character, making my character perfect and everything. Not as long as my wife does, she sits there and, you know, has a million Boulder Gates characters that she hasn't even started playing yet. But either way, I like having the characters look how I want. For example, you know, if I've got Agatha Harkness, I would love for Agatha Harkness to look like her, you know, MCU version or, you know, Gambit. There's so many different costumes for Gambit. Even then, I'd love to be able to kind of randomize it, have different costumes. Um, you know, uh, I play League of Legends and I have so many different, you know, uh, Skins, skins are called over there, um, skins for different characters. And I try different skins out and I have fun, you know, dressing up my costume my characters it's, it's probably something that's silly um it, it's something that i enjoy i enjoy having the characters look the way i want and it's something that marvel strike force has been really really weak with i will say that and you know i apologize if you're someone on the marvel strike force team but costumes in marvel strike force they really like gone uh, really weak with, in my opinion. They've they've simply gone for a lot of different color palettes and stuff like that. If you have a look at Marvel Super War, um, uh, what are they called? Their skins, I think. If you have a look at the Marvel Super War skins, they have some really interesting stuff. They've kind of gone above and beyond with characters, made a lot of different versions of characters, made their own versions of characters as well. Some really interesting stuff. They change like the animations, they change the um, the graphics and like the uh, the projectiles. So many different so many different things. And Marvel Strike Force has really been weak with this, in my opinion, especially given the fact that now some of them they're like raffling off and they're like having you know they made them harder to get skins are something that they if they wanted to go this direction they could have had skins slash costumes be the monetization and it could have been like you know everything kind of revolves around the monetization there and that's where they get their money from however they instead decided you know we're going to have monetization for our skin still, but then also monetize our characters just as much. I don't know. The, I thought it would be better to be one or the other. And that's, you know, we had the initial blog here talking about costumes and stuff, uh, which was something. 
So, uh, first of all, the rumor, the rumor that I'm hearing is that the first variant or one of the new variants that we'll be getting, uh, in not too long is going to be Captain America Infinity War. Uh, this is, you know, uh, a very interesting, you know, different variation of Captain America. I don't know if they're going to keep him as bio or if, you know, he could potentially be a skill character. He's obviously got the Wakandan, um, they're not glaives, but they're kind of like glaive shields, I guess. Um, and, you know, a whole lot of different kind of uh, cool stuff that we could potentially see there. Uh, uh, that's the, the the one that I've only... The only one that I've heard kind of rumored is a new character coming into the game. Um, and I don't know exactly what they're going to kind of do with him. I would expect him lead some kind of Avengers squad or something like that. Uh, maybe go on to the Secret Avengers. Secret Avengers are the squad that Captain America leads within Infinity War. They're like the Avengers just, but you know, they're the ones that are hiding in the shadows and everything. So it'd be very interesting to see exactly where they, they put him. But yeah, I just want to kind of, you know, that's the one that I've heard the actual rumor about. The rest of these are going to be ones that I am kind of, you know, predicting slash hoping. So the first one here is going to be Emma Frost. And I would love to see, first of all, the initial Emma Frost that we've got in the game be renamed to White Queen. So rename this character to the White Queen and then add an Emma Frost in from her being in the X-Men. Did you know that she's actually been an X-Men character for quite a while? She joined the X-Men. I actually think it was before this. This was 2001. Um, did she join before then? I th actually, it might have just been then, 2001, which means still, it's a good, you know, 20 odd years she's been with the X-Men, working with the X-Men, being a hero. Uh, and it's very interesting that we're kind of stuck with this villainous version of her when, and personally, I think that she's more of like a, you know, she's more of an anti-hero. Uh, I don't think there's too many villains within um within the x-men version at least uh but either way there's been a whole bunch of stuff and i would just love to be able to see a version of her that is a hero working with the x-men uh the next one is electra as daredevil she's been daredevil for a while as well um 2000 wow 2020 she became daredevil it's technically let's give it three years because it was the end of 2020 and we're at you know the start of 2024 still she's been daredevil for three years it's one of the most bowler costumes and everything like that um i just absolutely love this version and this costume for her she's obviously had this costume in the game already uh, which was the one right before this run but i'd love to be able to see her as actual daredevil and kind of see another version of daredevil with her next is C young cable Young Cable, I think, could be really interesting in the game, um, kind of focusing on a different aspect of Cable. This Cable, you know, summons the huge guns and everything like that and everything like all along those lines, while we could have like a more kind of young and spry version of him with like hand cannons or something like that, like the, not hand cannons, like pistols and stuff like that that you could see here. And then the last one here that I'd love to see is Norman Osborn as Iron Patriot. Iron Patriot is a character that I've been hoping to come to the game for quite a while we're already going to have three different osborns with uh red goblin coming we just got green goblin classic and then we've got the original ultimate green goblin uh all three of them being different versions of norman i believe yeah right we've gotten this is norman right yep norman um so you know three different versions of norman osborn in the game, uh, sorry, yeah, three of the different versions of Norman Osborn in the game that are all Goblin as well. Why not do a different one that's not Goblin, Iron Patriot, lead the Dark Avengers, um, or, you know, whatever, whatever they want to call the team, Dark Avengers or Dark Reign, either one, like, you know, there's a lot of different characters they could potentially pair him up with. Dark Avengers is a team that we've had, like, rumored for a while as well. Uh, these are not the characters that you're probably expecting. This is Ares, this is Moonstone, um, Norman Osborn, this is Scorpion, uh, Mac, Mac Gargan, uh, this is uh, uh, Draken. Uh, as Wolverine and this is Bullseye up here as uh, Hawkeye there so you know Dark Avengers I think would be a really interesting twist on the whole variant thing and they're doing these variants of different things this is like variants that were in the actual you know Marvel Universe 
uh, like within the 616 comic universe. I don't know. I just think that they really... First of all, if you if you want to do variants, then do variants of characters that are very different to the existing versions of those characters. Um, and then beyond that as well, I think that costumes should just be this area where if we're going to do variants as, you know, the same character with slightly different powers... Costumes should be where we go and explore some amazing costumes. Like, okay, can I just bring up, like... Okay, here's Sandman. Nope, that's not going to show it up because... I, I actually don't even know if this game, you know, is really all that supported anymore. Can we bring up... Alright, can we bring up, like, Blade here? What What is the wiki for this? Blade costume. No. Let's look up Spider-Man. Spider-Man costumes. Um, Super War. So, okay. It's actually annoying to find. Okay, I don't think they have an actual, like, wiki or, like, an msf.gg version. But you can kind of see, you know, different variations of the character and everything like that. Um, just going more all out look at this arcade the arcade skins are awesome the planetary armor ones there's so many different things that they could do here um you know uh there's like a a fancy like a what is it there's it's like it's date night um date night scarlet witch like look at this cool thing Like, just some amazing costumes. I just really wish that they go ham on these and kind of just go all out. It's, it's something that we should be going all out on with the costumes, just making some amazing looking costumes um, that are, you know, cool variants and stuff like that. And then, you know, just go... Like, if you if you want to go ham on, you know, the variants, then do them as, like, cool different versions of the characters and stuff that, you know, if, if that's what we want to go. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.